As a street vendor is attacked by a crazed woman demanding a burrito. It happened in South LA's Harvard Park neighborhood. The victim says the woman became enraged when she found out that she'd have to wait. Video shows her here dumping out bins of food, spitting on everything before physically attacking the vendor. KTLA's Jennifer McGraw is live in South LA with more on the growing number of vendors being targeted. Jennifer. Pedro and shares. Sadly, these vendor attacks continue to happen. We're talking assaults, robberies, and in some cases, people getting shot. Now, advocates are hoping more is done to protect these street vendors. We got burrito. After berating workers and a South LA taco stand for not making her burrito fast enough. This woman seen here goes on a tirade, throwing out prepped food and trashing jugs of juice. I can't believe it. Then things really escalate as the woman starts chasing her. Hey, 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 you can, hey. The video doesn't show, but she chased her for about 10 minutes around the car. She kept trying to run away from her. Coming at you from South LA. I'm here at South Taco. Jimmy Sauce says is an LA foodie influencer standing up for those without a voice. A lot of these vendors, um, they're here illegally, and so they're afraid to speak up. They're afraid to voice their opinion because they think they're going to get prosecuted. Berta has been working at South Taco Stand for more than a decade and is scared to speak up in case the woman or someone comes back. To harm them. The street vendors are vulnerable. They're out on the streets. They got no protection. There's nobody there to watch over them. Uh, you know, most of their transactions are cash, so they're easy targets for a lot of these uh, hoodlums out there. In the end, the woman does take off. This after destroying all that she could, making a plate of food to go, and spitting on all that was left. To, to see them throwing the food on the ground, that really breaks my heart. That's like, it's, it's a sin. You know, people are starving. Yeah. Jennifer, is the woman facing any charges? Well, first of all, police would have to find her, and then she could be facing robbery and assault charges. But as we've seen in the past, this is very much your street smash and grab. And smash and grabs are hardly prosecuted, so it's doubtful that she would, what, go to jail for a day and be let out the next day. That's why advocates are asking for police and for more help to protect these streets. That's very latest in South LA. Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News.